Let's take a look now at how the airspeed and the altitude will be presented on the PFD for the Garmin G500. As I increase the airspeed, we see the airspeed tape start to move. The true airspeed will be indicated here. The airspeed will move from this uh, caution range or uh, or danger zone uh, of any stall speed. We start to see the V speeds that we've bugged come into view, pass through the current uh, airspeed. We see the uh, stall speed of the aircraft uh, and the white arc. We see the green normal operating range present itself. If I increase the airspeed, we'll see a yellow caution range appear as well as eventually we should see uh, the barber pole show up telling us we're, uh, we're getting into a danger zone of the aircraft and as we get into that never exceed range we're going to start to see the actual uh, airspeed indication show up as red as well. I'm going to decrease the airspeed now to something uh, more appropriate for this demo. What we have here, as you notice, is this uh, magenta line. This magenta line throughout the uh, Garmin 500 system and uh, most glass systems is a trend vector. That's going to tell us where the aircraft will be in six seconds. In this case, we're talking about what airspeed will the aircraft be in six seconds. So as I increase the airspeed, the trend vector will slowly start to move up. Uh, and uh, indicate in six seconds that's where it'll be and as we start to uh, reach our airspeed in this case we're going to go into a caution speed the trend vector will disappear uh, in this case if we've slowed down it'll show us where we're going to be and it will disappear back to zero now I'm going to increase the altitude for this uh, demonstration and we'll start to see the altitude tape move trend again a trend vector for where we'll be in six seconds for altitude will present itself the actual altitude numbers for our current altitude will be displayed here uh, we see that we continue to climb and as we climb we have a heading bug or sorry an altitude bug that we have pre-selected at 4,000 feet somewhere above our current altitude if we look here we see our vertical speed tape indicating a climb rate of plus 3,000 feet a minute. Uh, we only get presented up to 2,000 and then above. So it's indicating right here as plus 3,000. Our vertical speed tape, in this case we can select a bug uh, and we can select that bug to zero or some climb or descent rate as appropriate whatever selected bug uh, this, in this case it's positive 200 feet a minute as indicated here and here we can bring that back to zero if we wanted to select the current rate at which we are climbing we would simply make sure to select the vertical speed uh, button and push to sync. Now the maximum uh, climb and descent speed that you can bug is 2,000 feet a minute um, and since we're currently doing 3,000 foot per, um, per minute climb we can't get that far. Right now the altitude pre-select has shown up it's slowly coming into view the aircraft is pitching down that trend vector for where our altitude will be will slowly disappear back to zero and our vertical speed indicator here slowly comes back to zero I'll select another altitude pre-select in this case we'll roll down to 3,000 feet we see that the altitude pre-select has moved down to the bottom of the altitude tape and as I decrease the altitude on the simulation autopilot you'll see that vertical speed tape start to move slowly down uh, in this case it's going to go down to about 3,000 feet a minute and we see that trend vector appear that trend vector will uh, will remain until the aircraft slows its descent and starts to level out in which point the trend vector will disappear back to uh, zero and we won't see it anymore there comes our altitude pre-select here comes our vertical speed slowly leveling out it'll um, disappear back when it becomes zero and the numeric presentation disappears and here we are 
We can now, if we wish, we can select vertical speed, push to sync. We'll sync whatever the current vertical speed is. Uh, and that's uh, basic climbs and descents. I'll reduce that airspeed one more time just so you see that trend vector uh, appear for the airspeed. We see any bugged airspeeds here, uh, in this case VY, right at our current, uh, just b above our current airspeed, trend vector disappearing. You can see here we're in the white arc now, flap operating range for that particular uh, aircraft model. And that's basically uh, climbs and, uh, and descents.